Hey guys, so today is the Booker shortlist. So I've read eight, which is these Booth, uh, Nightcrawler, Glory, Trust, Maps of Our Spectacular Body, The Colony, The Trees, and Small Things Like These. Alright, so these are the two that I haven't read. I did start 20 pages in this, not much, which is The Seven Moons of Molly. Almeida and then Trickle Walker. I haven't read these two. So that's 10. So there's three I don't have. So my hopes, <laughs> my hopes that the six final books is right here. I'm hoping. But I have a feeling there's one particular book um, might be on the six because people have loved it. Talked about how much it's good that I don't have. But Let's see. I'm doing better than last year. I think last year, the, the books that I've read, only one at the time <laughs> was on the final. So I had five books on the final that I had to read. So let's hope this is not the case. All right. So I'm about to pull it up. Okay. It's still going on. It's supposed to be done already. Come on, we're six, we're six hours ahead. <laughs> so it's about 8.25 there. Where's the damn list? I, I, I don't have the patience for this. <laughs> Any day now, people. Why am I watching? I didn't even realize it's still live, guys. I'm watching this live. I do not do that. I usually watch when they're already done. Alright. Yes! <laughs> we got glory. Percival Everett, the trees. The trees. <laughs> this had to make it. Alan Garner, Trico Walker. Haven't read it yet. <laughs> so that's one that I haven't read. Oh, I haven't read it yet. <laughs> and I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I started it. Claire Keegan, small things like this. Yeah. Short but it's sweet. And Elizabeth Strout, oh William. You kidding me? I, hope I knew it. I knew O. William, and I that's the book I was telling you that I feel that was going to be on there because of how people are reacting to it, and I said, I don't have it. And it's already in my, 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 uh, my buckets. <laughs> so I really, I knew it. I knew it. I said, okay, this one's going to be on there. Yeah. However, 10 books that I've read. Well, eight. <laughs> and these are the only three that made it. <laughs> um, this was just a toss-up for me. But honestly, you know how I felt about these two. I was over the moon <laughs> with these when I was reviewing these two. Especially, Glow, you guys know I was laughing my, my butt off just talking about this book. And also, The Trees, I reviewed this and I talked about it. Yeah, I love this absolutely love this so I knew this was gonna make it, it was, and I even said to my I said I said I'm hoping this was going to be one of the finalists and I was I was right about it I was right about it this one I'm not shocked either I mean if you haven't read this I don't know why Th this is entertaining as hell <laughs> I was very entertained but it's very powerful very powerful and I I thought this was was really good now the only book that shocked me now granted, y'all know I didn't care too much of the ending, so I, I wasn't rooting for this. I also didn't, I also said in my review that this was, um, I didn't see this on the final, so I wasn't surprised. Um, I also wasn't shocked about this because again, it was hot and cold some part. 
um absolutely shock this did not get into the six i don't know why i thought she would have gotten into the six uh, i'm i'm quite surprised that she did not get into the six um not surprised this is heavy on historical fiction and i know it was it would be struggle for some people to really get how good this is i still love it it's still um one of my favorite books that i've read from the book of list not surprised it didn't make it the only book that surprised me is this i am quite surprised that nike uh crawling did not make it so that's a womp womp on that but she made it to the 13th so that's good but yeah i i, I, I had a feeling <laughs> i had a feeling that's why i started i said let me start this because i'm gonna have to read it and then I, i'm not sure about this one I, I don't know. Oh, William, yes. I knew old William. I Even t today I got up and I was looking at the list, the what, what I haven't read, and I said, watch me having to get that book because, again, the reaction I've seen from people suggesting that I should pick it up. So, I still got three more to read, guys. <laughs> Not super happy, but I think I might, I think I might get into this because it's short. It's short. It's it's 152 pages, and just even on the front of it is 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 not um. So think I think I'm just gonna dig in and go to this. I did started reading short story collection, um, from James Baldwin, which is going to meet the man, um. But I might just I still might read one more short story from this, but then I'm gonna just dive in. And get this out because again this is short and this one is going to take me some time I, I just know this is going to take me some. I am literally only 20 pages in and I'm already like like I got to get into this because of the the, the storyline with this it is in the beginning it's basically the man is dead <laughs> you found a dead man and I'm like can we get to the good stuff? But I have a feeling that this is going to be um, this is going to be good. So, yeah, I have five of them here. Read three. Three more to go. Every year, I can never get like most of them done. <laughs> so, all right, guys. So I'm gonna do some journaling, and I will get back to you. So I will be reading this one. Hopefully, I will finish this in the next three days. Two days. I'm gonna start it today and review this and then move on to this in O William, which I probably will get it by Thursday. And that'll be the last two. But yeah. Um yeah. <sighs> Alright, in the next. Guys, so I got this book from Ping and um, Random House. 
uh, send me this book. It is an, um, a finished copy of a book that's coming out September 27. I'm going to read it, uh, but it's called Sweet Soft Plenty Rhythm. It's a debut novel by Laura Worrell. And don't know much about what it's about, but I think it, it says something about it's 2020 13. Circus Palmer, a 40 year old Boston Beats trumpet player and old school ladies man, lives for his music and refuses to be tied down. Before a gig in Miami, he learns that the woman who he secretly um, closet, closest to his heart, the free spirited drummer Maggie, is pregnant for him. Instead of facing the necessary conversation, Circus flee setting off a chain of intellect and revelation from the various women in his life. Most notable among them is his teenage daughter, Coco, who idolized him and is awakened to her own sexuality even as her mental, mentally frag, fragile mother struggled to overcome her rejection by circus. That's what I'm getting from this. All right, I will read this. And I will give you guys what I think about it. I'm using natural light, so sorry about this for coming in and out, but it's better now. And then, you know, we talk about trumpet here. I did another bookmark. Go watch my shorts. And I did a porch, a poem that is dedicated to a trumpet player from my past. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Trick Walker. I finished reading this yesterday, and it's the kind of book that when you finish reading it, you have to stop, pause, and to like trying to get a, a, a proper assessment of the book that you can actually give a, a review that makes sense. Now, with the book of prize and all the books that I've read, this is book what nine I've read, and and this is number four of the the shortlist. Writing is what I've noticed that's been very different from like even last year or the year before where it's creative writing. Um, um, writing that's not typical I would say or um, you, you just know it's a creative writing style kind of thing and you notice it in this. Now this is not um, the kind of story I would want to read if I wasn't doing the book list because it has a lot of magic. It has a lot of fantasy aspect to it. Um, and I don't really read genres that covers that so much. Like, I, I typically don't. So, initially I was like, okay. So, because of that, it makes me even more... For a short book, I will still read it slower than normal. Because, sorry about the light again, because I want to understand the world that this character is in. And you have this character, Joe, who, um, Trick Walker, the title, offer him something in exchange of something else. And then things start happening to him and in form more of a dream. Um, and he has that a special eye and he can see things that others can't. But because it's so weird to him, he's everything is silly. This is silly. Like he's used <laughs> that word um, a lot. <laughs> um, because he doesn't understand what he's experiencing and what he's seeing. And there is another character that Trigger World is not really fond of. So there's that in there. And he's sort of using him... To see the things that he can't see. And so that was a bit, went over my head a bit. I was a bit confused a lot. <laughs> I was like, what is the point? What are we getting at? And then there's this whole idea of death that came up in this as well that really um, had me pause and try to figure out the symbolic of it. And then I was just like, I'm not a fan of this book in that terms. I I I, I just it didn't do anything for me. <laughs> That's the best way I could put it. Um I do find that the creativity of it, 
I give props to the author for that. I think this is for people who are really into fantasy and like these kind of um, story would enjoy this but because I'm not the biggest fan of it and how it's written where it's just all these puzzles and 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 pieces that you have to somewhat put together and I think sometimes there, it's like it's, it's short but there's a lot of things that's happening in it that you just have to really like trying to figure out the metaphor behind certain things and I, I, uh -uh. I tried I tried <laughs> I really tried but it's just no it just didn't do it for me um there's always that one book every year that one book that I'm like scratching my head and trying to figure out how did this beat out some other books um but again perhaps it's the writing um but I am not if you loved it, why did you love it? <laughs> Put that. Let's chat about it. If this is a, if you love this, what did you love about it? Um, I am just curious um, because, again, it, it just gives me. Yeah, I'm curious. So yeah. So I will uh, end this here, guys. End this here. Because um, <laughs> this was interesting. Alright guys, so I will move on to the last two that I have. Which is the Seven Moons of Mali. Um, which I think is probably going to be very epic. And I'm going to take my time with that one. And of course, O William. But there's a special project that I'm going to do for O William. So that's going to take me a while to give, to give you my thoughts on that. So yeah, and I will just... Get into this book mail from um, Random Penguin Random House. You know, sweet, soft, and plenty rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. It just sound like some... Some man and his... <laughs> some man and his, you know, messy life. But we'll see. Circus Palmer. Yeah. And he's 40. So, so is that midlife crisis we're going on with or close to that? I love the cover. The cover is nice. So, yeah. So anyway, guys, see you in the next one. And watch my first shorts i ever done on YouTube, ever. Um, and, yeah, see you uh, Tuesday. I am also doing, uh, going to be going to Carib Brooklyn Caribbean Literature Festival this weekend. I will vlog it and share that video um, for Tuesday. So I will see you in the next one.